hello guys welcome back in this video we will see how we can edit table data within the table cells and how we can add the validations within the table cells so let's get started i have an empty react.js project that is using and design and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import the table component from and design and start using it so table let's add its uh, columns and data source so columns is equal to columns we will declare these variables soon and data source right so let's add a few columns let's keep it simple and add uh, maybe a two columns maybe name and address so with the title of name and data index of name uh, let's copy it and add one more column for maybe address with the data index as, as address as well uh, let's add another column uh, that we can call actions and on that uh, we will have the added action that and the save actions so there will be no data index instead we will render uh, the record such that we can return maybe uh, two buttons one we can call edit and another we can call it save so if we save it now it's data source isn't defined not defined so let's define the data source uh, so let's use the state maybe you can say data source and set data source use state with the default value of an empty array and let's add few records if you save it it should show yeah empty table name address and actions okay so in a use effect let's add few records in that maybe we call can call it on the component load and here maybe we can say uh, maybe let's add maybe seven rows and Here we can say const theta is equal to an empty ray and here we can add different rows so we will say with a key of maybe index and then name uh, we can say name and then index and then address similarly so what we are doing here is uh, we are generating a random data but it is also unique so we can see that which row is this one okay so we have added uh, key name and address and once all of this data is prepared we can set data source to this data right so save it here you go name address and actions uh, let me the actions uh, with the type of link and type of link here you go 
name address actions and edit save right so right now it's doing nothing so let's add the actions on the edit and the save button okay so on edit what we will be doing is uh, we will be setting in our state that uh, which row is being edited so for that maybe we can declare a state we can call it uh, edit row and set editing row maybe editing row editing row and set editing row and with the default value of null so no row is editing right now and when we click on it uh, we can say that set editing row to uh, record dot key so we are getting the record uh, in each of the column and in each record we have a key that is equal to the index so 0 1 2 3 right so here what we are doing is uh, on click of the edit button we are setting which row is being edited right and uh, once this is set we can uh, populate these uh, that particular row uh, instead of the these uh, text we can uh, populate uh, the input fields so that user can type into that those right so for that uh, what we can do is we can encapsulate the table into a form and we can add the form item here and form item here as well so if you are new to the form i have a separate video on that i will add its link to the description below also in the i icon so that you can take a look and get an idea how the form works right so form that's also from the end design right so it should be from the end design right Okay, so we have encapsulated into the form, and here uh, we will give it a custom render the text and then the record. Each render we will get the text, whatever is the address, and if you want to have the full record, so that will include the key as well as the name as the address, so that will be the second parameter, right. Okay, so here we can say that if the editing key, editing row that we set here, if that is equal to record dot key, then we will show a uh, form dot item. And otherwise, uh, we can maybe return the p tag saying whatever the text is right and return it so form dot item and inside that we will be adding an input and here uh, we can give it a name so the name of this field that is name and if we want to make them required so use uh, the name and the address if we need them to be required so we can add the rules oh, sorry it should not be name it should be address yep, same as this one okay so we can add our rules and we can say it is uh, required and if user has not entered anything we can say please enter your address right okay if you save it there you go and let's copy it 
and replicate it for the name uh, column as well. And I didn't do it this one, so it's it will be the name. Please enter your name and say okay. The text will be uh, for this data index, right? Save it and if you click on the edit, you see as as soon as I click on edit, so it is converted to the these fields, right? So whichever row I click on the edit, it converts that into the uh, these inputs. But uh, it is not populating whatever was already there. So we can do that uh, using the form set values. So for that, uh, let's use the form use form hook const form is equal to form dot use form and here where we have the form you can say form is equal to the form we have declared above okay so when, once we have the reference to the form so whenever you uh, we are setting any row in editing mode uh, we can populate these uh, values as well so the name and address for that particular row so we can say that form dot set fields value and here we can give the key value pair so we will say that name is equal to record dot name because we are getting the record here so we can get the name from the record and uh, address to be record dot address right so now if we save it and edit this one so you see name 0 address 0 is there edit this row 1 1 2 2 and so on and so forth right so now if I make it empty it says please enter your address here you go yep so if we want to make uh, maybe we can say name is required but maybe the address is not required we can skip these rules here you go refresh uh, no I can make it empty but I cannot uh, make this empty right so this is how it goes okay so now let's implement the the save feature so on save so once once you hit enter or click on the save uh, we can declare the save as the html type of submit so whenever user hit on the save or hit enter uh, this function should be called on finish on finish on finish so let's declare this function const on finish is equal to it will give us the values that user has entered in okay so uh, so if user has updated these values so what we can do is we will update the data source so that as soon as user has updated this uh, our data source updated and it table re renders and gives us the latest values so we can say const updated uh, data source is equal to whatever is the data source right now and updated data source dot supplies so we have a uh, we will give the start where we want to replace these values and how many and uh, records to replace and then we will give the value the third parameter so this is the uh, normal array function so we have the row in editing row key so this is the row number and 
we will be replacing only one entries and uh, we will be replacing with the values okay so uh, before doing that let me show you uh, what we are getting it in the values console dot log values so in the values we will be getting only the name and the address so we won't be getting the whole data source uh, what we have declared here the key name and address so key will be missing so let me show you quickly in the console so when we edit it and then hit save okay so on finish and oh, uh, we have not saved it so here you go values so it's giving the two keys address and the name so the key is missing so uh, here once we are updating it we can add the key ourselves so we can say replace it with with whatever the values we are getting uh, from the form plus a key whose value will be uh, the whatever the rows was written right so we are adding the third uh, key or the third parameter for each row ourselves and then we will be setting the data source to the updated data source right and uh, we will then set set editing row to be null once it is saved so we are back to the normal these texts save it yes okay so this one address may be zero 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 save it here you go address is zero saved wait for this one maybe we can say name one zero zero and hit on the save this is saved right so whatever we are saving you will make a change it again so we can say nine 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 save it here you go up Alright, so this is how we uh, saved the data sources uh, locally. So, so, suppose if we want to save uh, whatever user has edited, we want to make an API call to the backend. So, we can do that here, right? So, we get updated values. We know which row has a, uh, it was under editing. So, we can uh, make an API call saying that for this particular row, these are the values updated on the backend and we on that response they, they give us the updated uh, data source or we we, all, we know uh, whatever the updated data source is locally so we can uh, show that from the local data source and updates on the server as well all right also uh, i have a separate video on how to populate the uh, the tables from the, uh, from loading data from the servers so i will link that video in the description as well all right, so that's it on exploring the editing of the table data within the table rows. So if you have any question, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have learned something in this video, please hit like, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.